So maybe it's the time of year as we roll into winter, but I find myself attracted to these darker, moodier photos. These desaturated photos that have a different feel to them. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you an edit session of one of the cityscape photos that I took in New York City. And I'm going to show you the adjustments that I make to create that darker, moodier feel. Hi, I'm Tom Sloan, a landscape and portrait photographer. If you find this video useful, please like and subscribe and feel free to leave a comment down below. So let's get into the edit of that cityscape. So here's the image that we're going to be editing today. This is a photo that I took at dusk in New York City uh, towards uh, capturing the, the Freedom Tower in this park in front of it. And what we're going to do is we will start, um, as you can see up in the histogram, we're very much a lot of towards the highlights and we want to end up more towards the shadows uh, on the left uh, when we get these dark moody photos. Um, and so what I want to start off with is bringing down the exposure and I'm going to bring that down to about a negative two. So I'm going to just type in the values that I'm going for just to speed things up a little bit. And um, that's a good start, I think, for this image. It was quite bright, uh, well exposed, maybe a little too bright. But uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take all of the colors out of that. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to hit the, um, the take the colors out of the saturation. We'll go to the HSL. Um, and in terms of the saturation, we're going to bring down all of these. And as you can see, we end up with a black and white because we've removed all the colors. So once we've done that, I want to go back into the basics, um, uh, the basic panel here, and I want to find the appropriate white point. Reds start to come up. So I'll bring it back to where those disappear. Okay, so that looks pretty good, but I think I want to bring down the highlights a little bit more. So I'm going to adjust that just so that I get more detail in the clouds. So I think that's about right in negative 23. I'm seeing a little bit more detail in the clouds here. Next, I'm going to adjust the dehaze. Uh, and just so you know, this edit uh, that I'm doing is based on a lot of techniques that I've learned over the years from YouTube uh, photographers on YouTube, and particularly this one, some of the techniques I'm showing you, uh, you'll find in a video by, from Mark McGee. Uh, and I'll include a link uh, down below so you can follow along. And I'm just using his technique and other photographers I've seen, but I'll include links to others that you can take a look at if you want to explore this subject a little bit deeper. So uh, I'm going to take the dehaze. Um, I'm going to set the value of dehaze to about 30. And you can see that darkens up the image. Clarity, I'm going to set it 15. And... Texture, I'm going to set at negative 10. Right now, I think that's all we're going to do. And now we're going to go in and reintroduce the colors into the image. So there's really no reds in this image. So if I move that slider, it's just a little bit, but... Okay, so I think that's that's a good setting for that. And there's also yellow, so you'll see that too. So you can see the yellows have come up in the building uh, and on the bench as well. Really no green in this image. So I'm gonna leave that alone. And then the aqua, I know there's no aqua in there, but 
blue, uh, you're going to see a significant change. And so we've got the, the blue being introduced, uh, but in more of a desaturated blue. Uh, so I think that's pretty good value for that 35. And there are, there is no purple or magenta in the image. Next, um, I'm going to adjust the luminance a little bit, um, just slightly on the orange and yellow. I want to highlight this little bit in the uh, image, the bench. So I've adjusted the orange up to 0.9, and I'm going to put the yellow about the same. Next, I'm going to we're going to go into the color grading. And with the color grading, what we want to do is we want to introduce some blue into these shadows. And in the highlights, we want to introduce some yellow, warm that up. So we'll cool down the shadows and warm up the highlights. So if we go into the shadows, I'm going to have this set this to a blue color. And the effect of that, setting that on the color grading of the shadows is to introduce blue into this image. And you can see that particularly on the in the bricks here. Now we're going to do the highlights. We're going to introduce some warmth into the highlights. So going to a complementary color, uh, blue, uh, yellow is complementary to blue in the in the color wheel. Okay, so we've warmed that up a little bit, and you can see that in the building. Next thing, I want to go into the tone curves, and I want to bring in a... I'm going to go with a medium contrast here. The, if you go down to the point curve, you can... There's a preset uh, point curve here for a medium contrast when you do the drop down. Kind of like how that works and what I do want to do is though I want to bring up the black point over here and what this does is it kind of turns your blacks to a more gray and now what I want to do is I want to introduce a mask to the sky this is too bright for what we're going for so I'll introduce a, a mask for the sky Okay, so Lightroom's gone off and done its magic, and it did a pretty decent job at selecting the sky. Um, I could probably clean this up with a brush, but I want to get through this edit so that you can see these techniques. Uh, so this mask, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down the exposure in the sky. I want to introduce a linear gradient uh, into this mask. So this is a nice new thing that um, Adobe has introduced into Lightroom. You can create an intersect mask. Uh, in this case, I'm going to intersect the mask with a linear gradient. And so what that does is that decreases the effect of the exposure. So it's not going all the way through. It starts high and then comes down low down below. So I'm just going to adjust this a little bit. And 
And there, I think that that looks pretty good. So the other thing I want to do is this is a little too bright over here. So I'm going to, so what I'm going to do now is add a linear gradient because I feel like this side of the image is a little bit too bright. So now I'm going to bring down the exposure. I'm going to add another one over here just to balance it out. Not as strong as this one. Last thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to brighten these buildings up slightly. So I'm going to let Lightroom make a selection of the subject for me, create another mask. Okay, so you can see that uh, Lightroom's done a selection of the subject. They did a pretty good job. Um, Normally I would brush in and add these buildings a little bit too, but I want to take the time to do that. I want to get through these techniques for you. Um, but I'm going to brighten this up a little bit so that they stand out a little bit more against the sky. So. So the only other thing that I want to do is I want to add another mass to this bottom half. I think it's a little bit too bright. And I'm going to create a linear gradient. That's, those are all the edits we're going to do with this photo right now. I'm going to show you the before and after. This is the before. And that's the after. Before. After. So I hope you got something out of that editing session, and I encourage you to try it some of those techniques with your images. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon.